surrogacy in Australia what it's like to carry a child for someone else meeting a couple online and agreeing to carry a child for them with no financial incentive might sound unfathomable for some people, but not for midwife Rachel Kund, who has done so for three different couples. Ms Kund has birthed four surrogate baby boys including a set of twins for couples who were previously strangers to her. Ms. Kun's reason for becoming a surrogate was simple. She said it was because she could. I guess obviously altruism was what was driving it because I'm a very altruistic person, I enjoy helping people, she said. Ms. Kun said she met two of the couples through online donation and surrogacy support forums and the last couple she met through another surrogate. I did surrogacy twice as a traditional surrogate, so I used my own eggs for those surrogacies, she said. In the last surrogacy I used my intended parents' eggs, so that's gestational surrogacy. Ms. Kun said she gave birth to a baby boy in September for Marianne Sandberg, who she did gestational surrogacy for, but he died four days later due to a genetic condition called nemelin myopathy which causes muscle weakness throughout the body. He knows he grew in my tummy handing over a newborn at the end of the pregnancy is what many women might consider impossible, but Ms. Kun said it wasn't difficult for her. While you're trying to get pregnant and you're planning everything that goes with the surrogacy agreement, you know in your head from the moment you get pregnant that the child is not going to be yours, she said. So by the end of the entire process it's kind of a relief to get to that point where you're actually giving the child to its parents, because that's what you've been working for the entire time. Ms. Kunt said she was in contact with all three of her surrogate children who were also her biological children. Photo, parents Michael Noels and Jared Merle with kids Elijah and Huxley, who are Rachel's biological sons. Supplied, Michael Noels. My eldest surrogate baby is six and he knows he grew in my tummy and the twins do as well, she said. Ms. Kunt has three daughters of her own and the twins, who are five years old, know they are related to them. She said the situation was complex for herself, parents Michael Knowles and Jared Merle and the twins. They have two dads, so they don't have a mother figure at all, she said. And the dads kind of struggle with that concept that while I'm their birth mother I'm not their mum. Ms. Kunt said the twins would make cards on Mother's Day with her in mind. It's a bit of a catch because while I'm their birth mother, I don't feel like I'm their mother, she said. It's just a complex situation that I'm sure will work itself out as the twins grow and they work out where they fit into our lives and where we fit into their lives. Many would-be parents heading overseas families through surrogacy director Sam Everingham said although more families were seeking surrogates in Australia, the trend still leaned to overseas surrogacy. Photo, Rachel with partner Simon Kund, children Brittany 18, Sierra 13 and Addison 9. Supplied, Rachel Kund, he said some of the reasons were because it was too expensive. The laws were too confusing to navigate and it was too difficult to find an Australian surrogate. There's no Medicare rebate for IVF for surrogacy which means you're paying a lot of money each time you try and transfer an IVF cycle in Australia, he said. There's no professional matching or screening of surrogates in Australia, so many people are put off by the fact that they've got to do their own screening. Commercial surrogacy is illegal in Australia which Ms. Kund would like to see change to allow a compensated model. She said it was important women were allowed autonomy through their pregnancy, which some overseas commercial surrogacy agreements override. I wasn't compensated at all, I actually don't know any surrogates that have been compensated doing surrogacy in Australia, she said. The only thing that was covered for me was my medical expenses and any pregnancy-related expenses and did include time off work and pregnancy medications and pregnancy clothes. But I've never received anything beyond that. Should surrogates be paid for carrying a child? Surrogacy laws differ state to state in Australia and HHG Legal Group Managing Director and Special Counsel Simon Creek said urgent legal reform was critical. Photo Rachel Kund has birthed four children as a surrogate. Supplied, Rachel Kund, he said he would like to see the introduction of regulated commercial surrogacy to protect everyone involved. 
It is illegal to enter into local commercial surrogacy except in the Northern Territory where there's no law on it at all, he said. I'm quite sure commercial surrogacy does take place in Australia, even if it's between friends etc., I'm quite sure money does change hands on this issue. Mr Creek said this could cause problems in the future as backyard mates agreements could take place and potentially go sour. A surrogate mother for example has changed her mind, gone to the family court, reveals her identity, perhaps the child didn't know about her until then and a whole mess erupts, he said. Let's just get this sorted, let's just get good solid uniform law around Australia. What constitutes the sale of a child? Senior lecturer at Griffith University Patricia Fronick, who has researched surrogacy legislation, said she was opposed to profiteering through commercial surrogacy. It's about that question what constitutes the sale of a child and there's a lot of legal debate about that, she said. It is discussed as a fertility process but it's much more than that. It's such a murky area associating money with children, and we know it's a problem whenever it is associated with children. Dr. Fronuk said the general push in Australia was toward commercial surrogacy. Certainly there's lawyers and certain doctors who really want to introduce commercial surrogacy, because it's big business, people are already making a lot of money out of it, she said. Dr. Fronuk said there was not enough research around international commercial surrogacy to allow Australia to make an informed decision about the practice as a whole. But she said surrogacy was not the only option. There's a whole range of models and there's no need at this point with limited information to rush into commercial surrogacy, she said.